Okay, so this is to show how to install the heated bed. And basically it comes with uh, four mounts that look like this. Uh, four screws and four rubber washers and the heated bed. And the heated bed can be covered with uh, Kapton or PEI or nothing if you prefer, but typically nothing sticks to the aluminum itself, so uh, you're going to need something to cover it. But it's pretty simple to install. Um, you're going to need a flathead small screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. And uh, these are the mounts, and they go in first. Uh, they, if you remove your OEM um, build platform, there's four holes around the uh, base there, and these mounts are made to go inside of the holes. And I've already installed three of them, and I'll show you how to install this last one. Uh, but the way it works is you take your Phillips head screwdriver, and there's a there's or a, your flathead screwdriver, and there's a flathead screw in there. And when you put it in the hole and you push it down, um, you just turn the flathead screw, and basically what it does is it it uh, squishes out this silicone uh, piece here, and that will uh, clamp on the out uh, the the hole uh, under the the build platform, and that will secure it without having to drill any holes or anything like that. Which is the goal of this whole kit was to not uh, modify the micro in any way, permanently. So basically, um, in order to install it, you just take one, um, and there's a flat edge, and the flat edge goes to the outside. Um, it can really only go in one way, so that shouldn't be too difficult to figure out, but you, all you do is you push it in and hold it down, and then you take your screw driver and tighten the screw, which will tighten the, will compress the silicone, and uh, securely hold it in that hole for you to attach your uh, heated bed to. And I've already done three of these two, so basically all you need to do is you take your screws and you put them in the corners, the holes, and then you put your uh, rubber washer over that. And the rubber washer is, it helps hold the screw in while you're installing it, and it also gives a little bit of a cushion, um, air cushion gap between the micro and the heated bed. Um, just allow it so it doesn't melt anything or, you know, uh, warp or anything like that. It, it just uh, protects your printer a lot more. And what you're going to do is you're just going to slide it in um, with the wire coming out the back of the micro. And then you'll take your Phillips head screwdriver and you'll simply tighten the screws down in all four corners. Um, you don't need to get it super tight, uh, just as long as you, you know, squish the silicone uh, washers slightly so the screws don't uh, end up coming out on their own. Um, and you can you can check the gaps along the, the edges to see if it's uh, relatively level with the printer and that's all you need to do to install the bed and there's also a, a hot plate warning label that you can put um, here to warn anybody who maybe isn't using it or whatever that this is a hot surface and um, I would always treat it as a hot surface um, just just so you don't uh, end up burning yourself, but that is it's pretty much that simple to install and uh, You're good to go for that and then you can check out the other Videos for how to install the enclosure and the LED kit